Hello everybody, my name is Tommy. This is Gengar. This is the first Pokemon I have ever built. And uh, take a look at the framework here. I'm actually pretty proud of this framework that I did. And uh, you can see, you can watch a video tutorial on how to make this big guy. And uh, just remember to turn on the closed captions because the instructions are on closed captions. Yeah. So, say hi, Gengar. You're getting a makeover. All right, so here's Gengar. So this is what he looks like right now. He looks pretty wrinkly. Yeah, and you can see the cardboard sticking out. And this is not very durable. Hey, look at that, it's just very soft. He doesn't look that great. Uh, these are, yeah, this is getting covered in dust. Yeah, his arms are movable. His hands, I don't like his hands. I think I might sharpen them a little bit. And look at the feet. I do like what I did with the teeth and his tongue here. The tongue is definitely going to stay. I'm not going to do anything with the tongue. So I'm just going to roll that up here. Yeah, he's the only puppet that I have that has a big long tongue. Like this. The eyes, I, he has popping eyes, so I, I'm going to give him better eyes. Definitely needs better eyes. And here's the back. Again, not impressive. The spikes. Yeah, the spikes are going to get some work. This is where you uh, control the popping eyes. And this is where you control the mouth. And he's even got a tail. Not very impressive. Look at this here. Nope. He is definitely in need of a makeover. I'm out in the living room because it's a big open space here. The puppet lab, the office, is too small for this kind of work. So I gotta do it out here. All right, so let's start working on him. So I got my router tool right here. This, it's gonna get used for the first time. Okay, so now I got everything covered in newspaper, so let's start covering it in paper mache. He looks pretty creepy with the glue dripping down. Put his tongue in here so they don't get any glue on it. So I got the front covered in newspaper except for the top of the head and around the eyes. That's gonna, I'm going to do that a little bit later. So I'm just going to cover it all in uh, tissue and see what he looks like from there. But he's definitely looking a lot better. All right, so now I'm gonna smooth the spikes down a little bit. Okay, so Gengar actually has very short feet. These are too long. That looks about right there. So the next thing we need to do, we need to shape the feet a little bit. All right, so now it's time to smooth them down.
Okay, the tail looks pretty lumpy, so we're gonna fix that right now. Okay, let's start working on the back. Alright, so I just worked out the wrinkles, and now it's covered in newspaper, so now I just need to cover it in tissue and glue. Okay, it's time for this Pokemon to visit the dentist. His teeth need a little bit more work, so I'm going to be applying my dentistry skills. I am a certified puppet dentist. Alright, let's keep working on the teeth. So these are the hands here. As you can see, they don't look very good. Look at them. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sharpen them because he knows shadow claw. So, yeah. We're gonna make them, we're gonna make some nice hands for him. I got my handy dandy router tool. I gotta be careful when I'm using a knife. They're very sharp. Always cut away from yourself. Never towards yourself. It's time for a manicure. All right, so we're gonna make Gengar some more 3D eyes. I have an idea on how to keep the popping eye action. So let's make him some better eyes. Okay, so now it's time to cut out the opening for the eyes because I wanna keep the popping eyes because that's what makes them really unique. So let's install them, and I'm going to be using a hot glue gun, so I'll be wearing gloves, because I don't want to burn myself. Okay, and this, this part here is a little too flat, so in order to make the eyes look a little more natural, I'm actually going to add some newspaper around here, just right up to here. All right, so here he is so far. So, all that's left to do is to paint. So, let's get him painted, make him look all spooky. Okay, so now we are going to put the white glow paint on his teeth, and then I will do the eyes next. Okay. 
skin color just went from this to that. Please tell me in the comments below. I'd like to know what you think. I think he looks a lot better. He's definitely a lot more solid than he used to be. A little creepier too. <laughs> Apparently if you see Gengar giving you a menacing look, that means he's trying to inflict a curse on you. Yeah, I'm in big trouble. That's just great! Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Charizard is getting a makeover next. Bye-bye.